Hi. My name is John and I'm going to be gone soon. I've played the tune of goodbye so many times my introductions begin with an end. I've had friends hold on so tight they just end up bruising my heart so I'll make sure goodbye takes part in my hello. I'll make sure I let them know my name and my future before I rupture my heart over another friend I cannot keep. So my seeping heart refuses to let people in Because an exit wound is too much to bear And if someone was to say I don't care, they'd be wrong My heart longs for friendships and love But it's continually undone by the plane ride That divides me from commitment, so My name is John and I'm gonna be gone soon Because my high was shaped by the plane rides And hello was molded by the yellow pages I constantly left behind I have friends I've never met because seeing meant being there and there was never where I was. So my closest friends were phantoms that mirrored friendship without the requirement of presence. I met a girl the first day in Budapest. Her eyes were a place for mine to rest so I second guessed myself and allowed my unrefined introduction. Hi, my name's John. What's yours? I allowed my heart's arms to open up, revealing the sores and scars that boomed goodbye. My name's Rachel, she replied. Rachel's smile filed its way into the prison bars of my heart. The corners of her smile each connected to my heartstrings, so each twitch and laugh caused my heart to jump and jolt, waking it up again. Rachel's fingers were needles and threads that she hemmed pieces of herself into the holes of my heart. We would lie in the grass looking up at the stars, saying each was a person, but that one is ours. Her face gleamed in starlight and her eyes were flames that tamed the pain of loss. It was a dream that we lived, but it wasn't without cost. Hey John, I'm gonna be gone soon. Immediately the hand-grafted skin that had been the fabric keeping my heart together was removed, leaving me with a heart of holes. Meaning half a whole heart was told apart simply by a goodbye, so I was left to lie alone looking at the stars we call our own. My name is John, and all I want is a home. I spent too many nights in hotel homes that cost pieces of my heart, and at checkout, I leave them behind, so at this point, my heart spreads so thin across the world, like butter on too much bread, it's starting to taste like it's not even there anymore. Like the potency of my heart is stretched so fine, each country of mine can only get a minuscule amount, so I'll count my blessings as losses and refuse to see anything but my pain so I can gain the pity of myself. And my heart hurts so much, but it feels like it's not there. Why even bother with it? So I suppress it, making sure its death is silent. And maybe without it, the pain would just leave. And that maybe my bones are strong enough to reprieve the lack of a heart. So my name is John. I'm going to be gone soon. I say it without tune or song, and deep down I know how it's wrong. But feeling nothing seems so much better than feeling the clipped wings that stop you from taking flight in love and friendship. Being numb is so much better than remembering my goodbyes, yet it still feels like a bunch of lies that pile themselves up in front of me and present the claim that I still feel. I wish I didn't. But as the layers peel and the fatigue starts to steal my resolve, all the problems I thought throwing my heart away solved came rushing back. I was down on train tracks, wondering if the pain racked up enough points to place me on a leaderboard somewhere. I couldn't hide the tears in my heart that friends left there, and no person could do patchwork good enough to last. I was stuck with the future to live, but pain in my past. My name is John, and I don't know how long I can last. I need a cast on my heart to hold it together Because right now there's too many holes for it to stand on its own And right now my heart matches my skin tone It's paling Losing blood fast and it feels like there's nothing I can do about it So the moments before I think about the end The thoughts before the curtain falls I realize there's another way to make my heart mend My name is John and I've been gone so long I forgot the reason why I've been crossing country lines with my parents' intent in mind, but never did I think of it as my own. I forgot all the people in poverty and how we told them of their home, how every face had a place to go when they were weak, how every heart could stop seeking a hospital for it to heal in, because when it came to what's real, my parents let them know that God was there, that every terror in their heart was just a part of how we fell, and just because we fell doesn't mean we tell ourselves it's over. We look to God to be the medic, to bend his knees and heal the sick, to look deep into the thick darkness that we cloud ourselves with, to shine a light down a path that leads home. My name is John and my faith is my own. 
don't have a physical home, but I know that no matter where I go, my heart has a place to rest. That the crest of each mountain I climb, there's a downhill I can ride, and in both, God follows close. So now, now my heart can boast of being healed, that it is full and reeled closer and closer to God's own heart, a friend that will never leave, a love that will never depart. And I can share that. I can share it like beauty and art, plastered to the walls of my actions to take stands with the factions of people I had to say goodbye to. But it doesn't have to hurt anymore. I have a healer that never leaves to comfort each sore, and before I can say goodbye, I have a chance to change a life. My name is John, and I'm gonna be gone soon. But first, this is my heart. I'll take it to show and tell so the great work of God can be told, and I'll hold it high so people cannot deny that it's whole. And when I say my goodbye, I can say it without the lie of numbness. I can say it without the pain that's loveless. But I can say it with the joy, because there was a life changed because of mine.